like game mode. My heart just starts pounding. I've been dreaming of this day for so long. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh. Ah. Ranking the top 20 new era survivor players from worst to best. Meaning at number 20, Matthew Grindstead Mally. We are starting this video out with a bang and a spicy hot take. I bet 99% of you watching this video were expecting Matthew to be ranked rock bottom in these rankings. No pun intended. Oh my god. Is he okay? Is he okay? This dude is the prime example of the potential of being a great survivor player, except in the wrong place, wrong time. I get it, he was really stupid for falling off the rock and getting hurt, but he came into the game with so many different strategies. Number one, using the shot in the dark to hide his target. And number two, convincing Jamie she found a hidden immunity idol. It might make you shake your head with Matthew's ranking here, as it's all speculation if he didn't pull himself from the game. Let me ask you, does that mean he quit the game? Anyway, a huge issue I see within the new era of Survivor is the luck versus skill component. I don't want to say classic 39 day Survivor was actually easier than the 26 day new era version we see today, but what I will say is the older version had a much larger emphasis on skill, not luck. I want to give individual immunity to Natalie. If you are asking me if I think the new era survivor is harder, no, no, I definitely don't think so. However, I do believe there is a much larger element of the game out of the player's control. The part of the game we can call luck. Time to bring you in on another big twist. So big, this is a two-part episode. So no tribal tonight, nobody going home. The list can go on and on for ideas and aspects of new era survivor that places this higher emphasis on luck, but it boils down to not letting the players play. There's another twist to today's challenge. The player who lasts the longest out of everybody earns for their team immunity. And before everyone starts yelling at me in the comments, although I view this as the only correct ranking of these players, there is going to be moments where the rankings get a little bit subjective. So please try to stay calm in the comments down below and let me know what you think of my rankings and what your rankings look like as we move into number 19, Drea Wheeler. Fun fact, when Drea was voted out of the game in Survivor 42, I made a whole separate video on her rise and fall in the game. I'll always think it's cool when Canadian play survivor and it was a two birds one stone with her occupation being a fitness consultant if you didn't know i'm a personal trainer and swim coach drea started the game strong with multiple advantages however her luck ran out and i'll just roll the clip of what i said in the rise and fall video so while drea may have been voted out after having so much power in the game i would argue the community still wants her to return in a future season number 18 romeo escobar part of me thinks it's hilarious ranking romeo one place above Drea, almost giving him the last laugh here. I can already see the comments yelling at me for placing Romeo this high. Even though I place other zero vote finalists way lower, here's the thing, I don't care. Romeo had a top tier early part of the game on the blue Ika tribe. However, Romeo's physical strength does not compare to the next player on our list, number 17, Franny Marin. Most known for her showmance with Matt throughout Survivor 44, Franny was also known for her physical dominance. You would think a showman would put a target on your back, but that didn't affect Franny. What's actually the best part and most impressive part about Franny's game is also what hurts her so much. Like I just said, she's a physical beast. Brandon drops, it's over. Franny has done it. Franny has won immunity for her entire she had the opportunity to save her closest ally if she dropped out of a challenge. And on top of that, winning back-to-back -back immunity challenges placed way too big of a target on her back. So if you're asking yourself, where is the other half of the Franny showmance with Matt? Well, don't worry, we already talked about him as one of the most man players in part two of the video series. And players like Marianne and Jesse will be coming in part four. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. Number 16, Jonathan Young. This dude is placed 16th overall in our ranking simply for being a beast. I get it, you Survivor super fans value the strategic game more than the physical game, but in this case, you gotta put some respect on Jonathan's name, Challenge Beast, period. Oh, oh, Jonathan is carrying the ladder on his shoulder, 
That ladder is no joke. Number 15, Noelle Lambert. Although she only has one leg, she showed so much heart throughout her time in the game. Noelle was another one of those players that showed so much potential, and I think if she had a redo at Survivor, would perform much, much better. Over and over again, she would make an alliance with someone only for that alliance to get blindsided. Justine Brennan and Dwight Moore were both victims of forming an alliance with Noelle, but here's the deal. We are in the new era of Survivor, and our Lord and savior Jeff Probst loves to show dramatic moments. Noelle in one of the Whoa. biggest comebacks in the go, history Noelle. of Survivor has just oh won God. the biggest reward of the season. So Number 14, Carla Cruz Godoy. Although I'm not the biggest fan of Beware Advantages, it highlights the strength of Carla's social game with being able to navigate the beads to form a hidden immunity idol and being savvy enough to vote Gio out when he told her about his knowledge's power advantage. Of course I was excited. I was like, shoot, someone can make a really big move. But then I paused and I said, yeah, someone can make a really big move on me. Not gonna lie, I was tempted to place Carla in the top 10, but I felt like I couldn't with her wasting her idol the final six and failing to win the final five challenge despite having an advantage in it. However, the next player on our list was voted out that very same tribal council where Carla wasted her idol with number 13, Cody Ashamasher. I know, I know, I know. When making these rankings, I promise to be as objective as possible, but dude, I'm just a big fan of Cody. Right before Tribal, it was easily the most craziest emotional ride I've ever been on. It was terrifying. You want to give Cody your beats? I got you. Cody almost pulled off the Fabio type of win, acting like a dumb bro, but unlike Fabio, the crazy antics was just a front for his strong strategy. Survivor 43 showed us the top tier duo of Cody and Jesse, but guess what? We're not going to be talking about Jesse until part four, but we will be talking about another dynamic duo right now with number 12. 12, Shan Smith. Obviously, this dynamic duo I am talking about took place in Survivor 41 with Ricard and Shan. For how much Shan was hyped up in Survivor 41, I was surprised when looking back at it that she only made it to the final eight and day 19. I played a good game and it was a dream come true. I love you, babe. Shan, mm -hmm. Travis spoke. However, the producers loved everything Shane was giving throughout her time in the game, and it showed with the amount of screen time she received. Sham pulled off some crazy moves in the game, people telling her about their advantages, people giving her their advantages, being down in numbers at the merge, only to find herself leading the majority alliance. Shan is a player that would have easily made it into the top 10 if she made it a few more rounds in the game. But our next player made it to the end of the game with number 11, Mike Gabler. Spicy hot take, and I'm for sure gonna get some hate for this, as Gabler is the first winner we are talking about in these rankings, and he didn't even make the top 10. The winner, Survivor 43, Gabler. That's five, that's enough. Thank you. We have our winner. Thank you. Not gonna lie, I was super tempted to place Gabler way lower, but the fact alone that he won the game puts him right here. Let's not forget his only move came at the merge, and then he turned into the alley Gabler hiding in plain sight. Oh yeah, and he wanted to be voted out day one. If you don't want to be voted out day one, subscribe to the channel and come back next week for part four. But if you're watching this afterwards, click right here for part four and the final part of the new era survivor player ranking. Things.